What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, I would say it would be like a two-parter because, well, Jesus, like, it, it was like, what, 40 minutes? Yeah, and then probably like 9, 10, maybe 12 hours in between. <laughs> yeah, I, I had, a, I had a, a good day, guys. Anywho, in this episode, we are in, where are we? I don't know. We're going to go right here because there's a little item that we can grab. There you go. We found ourselves a star piece. This right here will help us get more monies because we need more monies. And, uh, Jeebus, where, where are we? Seriously, where are we? Okay, I'm going to go right here and back. Okay, we're in Campfire Town. And there is barely anything to do here. Trust me on this one. Now... In our last episode, we got ourselves a new, well, two new Pokemon, Poping and Jordan, the goat. That's right, named after Michael Jordan because he is the goat. Anyone says otherwise, well, guess what? No one cares. Anywho, as you guys can see, it is a pure grass type Pokemon, and, well, it is a very physical Pokemon. Uh, does have the careful nature, which, of course, will kind of mess up with uh, its special attack, but it will boost up its special defense right there. And, uh,. Well, I don't think there's anything else that we can do. Let's go right ahead and grab a little item right here because there is a small item that we can grab. Grab this. We found ourselves an X attack. This is fantastic. And if you guys hear some rustling, yes, that is the cough drops because for some odd reason, if I continue talking, I just cough all the time. It's annoying. It really is. Anywho, uh, I think this is a hotel right here. Or a motel. Hotel or motel? What is the difference? Comment down below, guys. Okay. So, let's see what we got. There's, there's usually somebody that will have some kind of uh, items. This person right here will be giving us a, a full heal, which many of you guys already know. Heals up any statuses, including confusion. Not attraction, though. And, well, let's go upstairs. See if we can actually find the O Powers guys. The O, the o Powers guy. <coughs> I don't know. It's just whatever. All right, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. I'm traveling. I'm traveling the land to learn more about strong trainers. Well, if you had to, well, if you had to think about it, there are probably more strong trainers in Kanto. Now, here we're getting ourselves a shock ribbon, and this one right here is a decoration. A bit of excitement makes the world a brighter place. Just admire shock ribbons whenever you want to experience the thrill. That is cool. Don't know what that, what it is. And here we have the O Power Guy, and or the Mr. Power Guy. So we're gonna just uh, do the bonding stuff and let's see what we can get. And well, look at this. We got ourselves a special attack power. And bam. Okay. So it looks like uh, looks like we're good right here. Let's go right ahead and see what else we can actually find in this whole location. Probably something better. I don't know. Could be wrong. All right. Let's see what we can find. Now we have to we have to ask questions because apparently there's something about Mega Evolution, and we're gonna go into this house right here. See what this is all about. If you talk to this lady, she will be giving us the TM46 Thief, which will help us, you know, steal Pokemon's uh hold it, held items and all that stuff. And Okay, she's talking about the PC and this guy right here. He's like, how's it going there? I'm Cassius. Check this out. You know what I'm doing here? I'm keeping the uh, PC box running. No, seriously. Bill over Kanto had asked me to come here and run things for real. Enough with the introductions. Get out of here or get out of there or get out there and catch some Pokemon and put them in the PC. Yo, you got something you want to ask me? I ain't got all day, you know? And yes, I am not going to ask. But now since we talked to this individual, we... It will be called a Cassius Box or PC or something like that. Yeah, he's the dude. Okay. So, let's, let's see what we got right here. Talk to this guy. Today's grass-type Pokemon are giving off good vibes. And, well, we got to show him a grass-type Pokemon. Thankfully, we got Jordan right here. Bebe, as you guys probably already know, does not count as a, uh, as a grass-type Pokemon. It's actually a fairy-type Pokemon. Now... After you show him a grass-type Pokemon, he will offer you a berry. So I'm just going to go with an Aspear berry because, I don't know. That's what it is. And then talk to this person. Take this. Here we're getting ourselves a sweet heart. Don't know what that does. Probably a healing item or something like that. 
And an old man uh, lord was very generous. He was very different from the king who lived in this palace. Oh, okay. Alrighty. So, let's go right ahead and move on to the palace right here. Because we can't go anywhere without going into this palace. And, well, would you look at that. Hi, Sensei! An acquaintance of, your, uh, of yours? Two visitors from Shabanu Castle. I can't remember the last time we've been so busy. This castle, uh, this castle chateau, if you will, was the manor house of a noble family. It may be a little run down, but that's because th there's history in this place. During that history, the owners of this castle gave away a lot of their stuff to everyone, so they, so that's why it feels so empty. The end. Okay, that was it, I guess. That's it. Don't you have anything related to Mega Evolution? That's it. What in the world is Mega Evolution? Dot dot dot. Oh, oh, okay. What's going on here? Sir, it's back again. Hmm. Is it is it that time of the year again? Well, there's nothing we can do for, for, with that right now. I need to go to Route 7, but please take care uh, take your time and have a look around. Okay. Alrighty. I wonder what that was all about. Why don't we go to Route 7 too? Right after we go right here, because there is an item that you can find here, guys. There, like, honestly, there's not a lot of things you can find except just one little item. And if you go straight to the main room, it's not here. I think it's, uh, I think it's down here. Wow. See how, uh, see how I remember things? It's not that great. Here we found ourselves an escape rope. Not bad. And, well, it is time for us to leave really can't find a lot a lot more than just you know the escape rope okay so let's see what is a foot what is a foot right here so here we are campfire town we're gonna rollerblade over there and here we are in route 7 Riviere walk now before we go there go south right here and there's gonna be these two individuals that will notice you and they're gonna be like hey mister this way this way you I know this is an unexpected request, but I need you to take care of my berry field. Berries are great. One berry can produce more berries. I assure you that you'll love the field work. Sure, let's go right ahead. Oh, great. Uh, your name is Draven? Thank you, Draven. Hooray. That's great, Grandpa. I must teach you how to take care of the field right away. Please follow me. And, well, look at this. Plant a berry in this soft soil. Check the soil... Check the soil you want to plant a berry in, and choose a berry from your bag. Oh, I know. I should give you some berries to plant. And there you go. Look at that. We got ourselves orange berries. Well, I might as uh, I might as well let give you these berries too. And we get ourselves some Pekka or Pecha berries or something like that. And if you find a berry in the front of, in the front of a huge tree, come here and plant it. Once you plant a berry, the next step is watering here. This is for you. We get ourselves a sprinkler toad or sprinkler tad, and check the soil where you want to plant it a berry, and if it's uh, dry, water it. Take good care of it, and you'll get more berries. Well, Draven, please take good care of my of the field. I'm so relieved. My back has been killing me lately, and I just can't can't garden like I used to. Huh? Okay. Alrighty. We live in the house in the corner of the field. So. Remember how I said that I'm not really, like, I'm not too fond of the, the method of how, like, berries are get right here, guys. It's one big ass tree, and you have to plant that berry tree. But the plus side to this is there's about one, two, three, four, five, six. So you'll get, like, at least, what, 36 different ways, 36 options to get more berries. They usually come in a rows of five. This little thing right here, you can make mulch and you can create different kinds of berries. Now, if you go to this corner right here, you'll be able to get yourself a miracle seed, which will power up any kind of grass type moves. So let's go right ahead and give that to the goat himself, Jordan. And well, let's see. Is there anything else? I don't know. Probably. Okay, so let's move on. We're going to rollerblade around here because we need to see what is a foot here. And, well, here we are, Route 7. And right when we reach the bridge... Sensei, what is it? It's a big old Snorlax. You can hear it snoring. Here we go again. It's sleeping so soundly and the end of the world wouldn't wake it. 
Look, it's practically a mountain, right? It's blocking the road completely. Come on, sir. Use the Poke Flute. Oh, wait. Do you even have it anymore? Nope. I handed it over. Or you could say it was taken by the owner of the palace. Wait, what? What? Huh? What's a Poke Flute? Basically, the Poke Flute is what we need to wake up Snorlax. But the Poke Flute is currently at Par from P Palace. Oh, that's it? All we need to do is get get it then. Come on, Sensei, let's go. The Parfum Palace is just past Route Six, and maybe at the palace like that we might we might learn something about Mega Evolution. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing, guys. We're gonna be going straight into the Parfum Palace to take care of business right here. Now go straight up to what was it, Route Six? Yes, Palais Lane. So there are two different sections right here where you can find different kinds of Pokemon. What we're gonna do right now, guys, is we're gonna, well, grab a free item right here, special attack. And, let's see, what we're gonna be doing, yes, we're gonna be battling some trainers and all that crud, but we're gonna hold off on going into these areas right here until after our little adventure. There are gonna be two trainers that you can battle. I bet you, I bet you thought I was just some assuming to, uh, unassuming tourist. I happen to be Season Battler 2. Okay, that's pretty cool. Fantastic. Alrighty, so here we go. Take it on Hiroko. And she is coming out with Pikachu. She's got three Pokemon, and here we have Poping. Now, this is probably the worst Pokemon to use against Pikachu. Because of, uh, you know, Pikachu's little uh, stat thing. So we're going to go straight for Star Fox right here. And see what Star Fox does. Look at this. Pikachu, Thundershock. And damn it. The King of Paralysis continues. Okay. Sabi Matek, come on. Oh, you're so lame, Pikachu. Come on. Yeah, we can't move at all just because of this paralysis, and we are slow. So here comes a play nice attack, and what is going on here? Okay, our attack has fallen, but we are a special attacker, I think. And there goes Pikachu. One hit KO. That is how you do it. Okay, so Poping, without doing anything, grows to level 13. And Bebe grows to level 13 as well. Here comes Poseidon. So let's go right ahead and use Aaliyah as our little Pokemon. And... Well, let's see. Pikachu, you're looking fantastic. Hiroko, ready to go. And... Well, Psyduck's Cloud 9 doesn't really do much for me right here. So let's go straight for a Thundershock for the win. And there you... Oh, wow. This Pokemon is still going at it. And, well, we got disabled. Not to worry. We got a quick attack. Here we go. Quick attack. And there you go. Quick attack for the win. That's right. Okay. So let's see. Star Fox growing to level 21. And here comes Pidgey. I think after defeating Psyduck, we're not per we're not paralyzed or not par um, disabled. Yeah, we're still disabled. Good, great. Okay, so let's go straight for a quick attack. And here comes a tackle attack. All right, are we still paralyzed or disabled? I don't know. And oh, well, here comes Sand Attack. Good gravy. Okay. Can we do this? No, still disabled. Jesus, come on. But Pikachu, Aaliyah for the win. And just like that, say goodbye to Pidgey. And we are the winner. And the GOAT himself, Jordan, is growing levels. Yes. All right, Hiroko has been defeated. Okay, so let's go right ahead and continue on. Now, if... Here's something here, or here's something, guys, that you should know. If you are close to the bushes and run, chances are you might run into a Pokemon here and there. Uh, one of them is Venipede. The rarest of them is Audino. Not gonna do that right now because, well, yeah, we 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 kind of don't need to do that. And uh, well, let's go ahead and switch out to Jordan right here, and. Let's go with... Oh, wow, we don't have a paralysis heal, so... We're going to have to use our full heal for this one. And use a super potion. 
for these guys right here because, well, they're going to be the ones battling. Let's go right ahead and continue our little adventure. And let's go. All righty. All righty. So here we go, taking on Eriko. Coming out with a zigzag goon. And here comes the goat himself, or herself, Jordan. Okay, let's go with the Vine Whip attack. And... Oh, wow. Okay, so here comes the Vine Whip attack. And that right there is not that strong, so we're going to be switching it out. Let's go straight to Star Fox. Uh-uh. Alrighty. Alrighty, so let's see. Here comes the Tail Whip. Not as much. And let's go with a flame charge. And there we go. Alrighty. Okay. That is a victory for us right there. And Jordan, the goat. And Hurricane is getting closer and closer to evolving. And look at this. It's learning Whirlwind. Not going to teach that right now. And... Well... Here comes a Ralt, so let's see. You know what? Let's get let's go ahead and continue this off right here. Alrighty. Let's go right ahead and go straight for a flame charge attack. Let's get it! And just like that, Ralt has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty, and here comes a gulpin. We got the proper Pokemon for this one. Let's go Star Fox. Let's get it. Star Fox going in. Side Beam attack. And there we go. Nice. Alrighty, okay, okay. And well, what ends up happening right here? Jordan grows to level 10 and Eriko has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so again, getting a text message. I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, we're back, guys. The good news just keeps on coming. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> again, shout out to my brother. You're gonna get what you're gonna get, man. Let's get it. Alrighty, so we're gonna we're here in the Parfum Palace, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this ether because yes, we gotta grab an ether for our Pokemon. And well, let's go right ahead. And take care of the business right here. This big old palace. I could be. Th th this could be our, our. What was it called? Our thumbnail. Who knows? Probably. Okay. So coming in, we're gonna be uh, talk. Uh, we're gonna be talking to Jeeves right here. He's gonna be like, looking at me all smug and everything. He's like, the interest fee will be a thousand Poké Dollars per person. Wow. You've got to be kidding me. It costs money to go inside. You see, the owner of the palace follows the school of thought that you can never have too much money. Yeah, this is this is how the rich get richer. Here's your 1000. Seriously, we're wasting money just to come in here and uh This is pretty much getting robbed. Yeah, we're getting robbed, guys. Well, anywho, let's go straight for Let's go straight and, and, and find, uh, well, whatever it is that we're trying to find. Now, it's probably a good thing that we're doing this at night because at the, the end result, you guys already know, fireworks. Who sees things in the, at night? Seriously. Or who sees things in the more or at daytime, the fireworks at, at daytime? Now, as you guys are right here, there's this guy. He's like, where is it? Where could it be? Hmm. My fur frow. My beloved little Furfra has disappeared! Hmm. Disappeared? Hey, Sensei, we should help look. I mean, if my... Well, if my Pokemon was missing, I'd be sick to, with worry. Sure, why not? Let's go ahead and be the hero. Now, before we do anything, let's go right ahead and grab ourselves... Uh, there might be an There might be an item around here somewhere. Yeah, there might be an item. Yeah, there's going to be a, a useful item around here. We just have to look for it. And, uh, well... Let's see, where are you? Not right here. Yes, we have to look for this item. It's inside. There's only one item now. If we go to the left side right here, we... I don't know. We shall find out. Alrighty. Here we go. Finding, finding. And... Well, there's nothing right there. Okay. 
Let's go right here, and there is nothing. Okay. And we're going to go straight up top. And what we're going to find is more building right here. And a nice site, too. Very nice site. And, well, would you look at that? There is the item. Here we found ourselves an amulet coin. If you guys don't know what this is, this actually doubles the amount of win uh, winning monies, the monies that you earn after, you know, defeating somebody. Now, let's go ahead and give that to the Pokemon that wins us the most of the battles right here. And let us move on to the next thing, and that is... Uh, I don't know what is. Um, yeah, there's probably, yeah, there's, there, there really isn't any, anything else. Let's see, let's go here. Let's go to this portion. As you guys can see, there is a very, very nice view. We're going to go there later on. We just need to, yeah, go into these last two doors and see if we can find something else. I think there's like maybe a few things. Nope, not there. And how about right here? And no, there's nothing else except a picture or a portrait of a uh, of some royal or something like that. Anywho, let's continue. And well, let's see. Let's go right over here. And just like that, we are outside the building. Look at this. This is a very nice view. Very nice everything. Now. Once you step in to the forest, or not the forest, but the field, here we have Shauna saying, I'll look, I'll have a look in the back. Now, you will be able to find some items around here, very rare items. Well, some rare, some not. Talk to this gentleman right here. He's going to be like, folks uh, with the bug badge can use a move cut to chop down trees with prickly thorns. Here's a, or there's an HM here somewhere in the garden. You can take it if you'd like. That is exactly what we're going to do. Bam. We got ourselves the HM01 cut, finally. And this one will enable us to do, well, to get through places and all that stuff. And we'll find ourselves a super potion. Now, a quick reminder, guys. Keep your eyes peeled for these plants on the outside, okay? Because you will probably find an item right in between them. You just have to look hard enough and, uh, well, there's nothing right here. Huh. I didn't know that you could do this. Huh. Can you swim? I think you could swim in this. Probably. I don't even know. Okay, so we're looking and looking and looking. There might be an item. And no, we cannot surf in this place. Okay. So we have to follow the rules. And right here, you'll be able to find something else. Let's see. Oh, yes. There, there will be an item hidden right here. And we have found ourselves an antidote. That right there will heal up our Pokemon when needed. And if you talk to this guy, I heard an ancient keen made rules about when the view uh, went to view his garden. Didn't he have anything better than to make rules about? Probably. And well, I am looking. There should be a hidden item here somewhere. I don't know. We'll figure it out. And well, we're looking. We're looking. We're looking. We are looking and looking and. Yeah, I am looking around these little bushy areas. Comment down below if there's something else that I am missing. But there is an item right here in between these bushes or these trees. And look at this. We found one. Found ourselves a guard spec. And... Well, let's see. There could be something right here. Somewhere. I don't even know. I heard that there was a rare candy hidden somewhere around here. I could be wrong. All right, so let's see. What can we find right here? Talk to this guy. I always wanted to be a princess, but I've given up on that dream. I would get lost here all the time. Yeah, me too, probably. I don't know. I, I probably would. Let's see. Anything? You know, maybe it is a super hidden item. It probably is. Okay, so the next part of this whole thing, you have to go into this area because you will be able to find yourself the fur frow. And it's going woof woof. So... This is just a game now. We have to position Shauna in order to corner this fur frow and, uh, well, let's see. Where, oh, where is this fur frow? All right. Let's see. If we position her right here. Yes, stand right there. We will not do that. 
it'll be easy. Bam. Okay, so that was easy. All we need to do now is position her in one of the corners. Yes, and I'm going to position her in the left side right here because chances are I'm probably going to go right. So I'll talk to her. Yes, position her right here. And what will happen next is you got to go towards the right side. It will know not to go to the left side, and bam. Just like that. Whew, well done. We finally caught it. Sensei, you were amazing. We caught it because you understand how Pokemon feel. And, well, this guy, he's going to be like, Oh, my dear Furfrau, my beloved Furfrau. Could you uh, could you be the two responsible for my wonder Wonderfrau reunion with my Furfrau? Uh, how Wonderfrau. Indeed, it's marvelous. It's simply marvelous. A situation like this demands fireworks. We shall put on the show. Boom, boom. My Pokemon and I are reunited. Our bond has been proven. We'll commemorate this joyous occasion with a tremendous fireworks display. And it will also serve as a reward for uh, for the tiny bit of trouble that you want to uh, rendezvous at the balcony. Uh, do you understand rendezvous? You can reach the balcony from the hall with the mirrors in the second floor. Ah, okay. So, yeah. Maybe Wonderfro or maybe Furfro would have been better off without if we hadn't found it. If I were a Pokemon, I'd hate to have a trainer like that. But I really like fireworks, so let's make uh, the best of it. Well, whatever you say, let's go straight to the second floor and see what these fireworks are all about and all that crud. Let's see. Go right here. Go down here. And... Well, like so, right here. And, well, all we need to do now is go straight back to the... Well, the balcony area that we we missed, so... Going right here. Talking to people. I don't think any of anybody would actually give us anything. And before we do anything, we gotta put another cough drop because good gravy, I'm feeling it. Scratchy throat, you gotta love it. And th thankfully I have water here. There we go. And... There we go. And there we go. Okay. Look at this. This is a very, very nice area right here. Right here. Okay, that's my thumbnail right there. And once we go into the balcony, Shauna somehow made it up here. Talk to her. And it's nighttime. Look at this. Um, you know, I've never watched fireworks along with a boy before. Yeah, don't say. This is a very nice view. I'm just going to say that right now. We haven't seen, uh, seen them uh, yet, but I know I'll never forget these fireworks. Because I watched them with you, Draven. Yeah, buddy. See? Your boy Draven's a player, pimp. Yeah. Oh, look at that. And what, do I, what did I say, guys? These look better at night. Bit of an exaggeration, but still, look. It looks fantastic right there. Holy buckets. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Wow. That was amazing. I never, ever want to forget this, so I'll keep this memory in the album of my heart. And, well, here's this guy. He's like, and that was my Wonderfrau fireworks show for my Frau. Oh, wow. This guy, yeah. I assume you're satisfied with that. Oh! I almost forgot. The Pokey Flute. That's right. We need to uh, wake up a Snorlax. Ah, <sighs> the Pokey Flute, huh? Go get it. It was Shabanu Castle's treasure, but I took it as payment for a loan. A rich guy like me and a common person like that just don't go together. Really? Give it to them. Huh. Here is the Pokey Flute, and, well, here we get ourselves a Pokey Flute. Listen, well, you two. Always return what you borrow. That's important. I want to make lots of memories on my journey, but I think I'll try and forget about him. Me too. You can't imagine how stressful running this place is for him. That may be so, but... Oh, that's right. Mr. Butler, do you... Do you know anything about Mega Evolution? 
I remember reading a book on that subject in the place at Palace Library. It had something to do with uh, what you would now call a trainer holding a mysterious stone high and making Pokemon evolve even further. Also, it's not much, but I would like I would like you to have this. And look at this. We're getting ourselves a TM 70 or 17 protect. And he's like, protect blocks or protect blocks opposing Pokemon's uh, moves. But if you use it many times in a row, the chances of it not working increases. If you will excuse me, I'll should take I shall take my leave. The owner of the Chavanu Castle used to be friends with uh, with that guy. Can you believe it? Isn't that crazy? We have to be sure to give that flu back to after waking up the Snorlax. Well, that is true. So we're gonna stop right here, guys. In the next episode, we're gonna be going into I believe Route Six. Yeah, the Route 6 area and try and capture some different Pokemon and whatever. So, thank you guys again for being patient. Thank you guys again for, you know, all the wonderful comments and all that stuff. I will see you guys in the next episode as we continue our adventure here. See you guys.